Welcome back to Data Shark Academy. In previous lesson, we saw how a MySQL table can be imported into Hadoop with the same table name as in the source side. What if you want to rename the table while importing into Hadoop? To do this, we can use one of these scoop parameters called target directory. So here you can specify your SDFS directory where the table will be imported as well as the table name that should be used for the imported data. Okay, so let's try this in our terminal. All right, so this is scoop import again. So we'll say scoop import. We need connection stream. If you're not sure about what is the connection string for your machine uh, where the scoop uh, and MySQL are running so I'll have a video for it so make sure that you watch it username of your MySQL database password is Hadoop. Uh, table that we want to import as employees And we are going to use target directory. A school will be our parent directory and the table will be stored into employees history. Okay. And driver. Oops, I made a mistake. Uh, there should be uh, there should be two hyphens here. So this is not going to work. I need to do it again. So let me copy it from here to here. Oops. Let me copy. All right. So enter. So again, as you can see, Scoop has generated the code and it started the import process. It has analyzed that there are employees from ID 10,001 to 11,000. There are about 1,000 employees and it has allocated four mappers. Each will be handling 249 employees data and it will load that into the flat files on SDFS side. So now the data is imported. Let's take a look. Dupfs minus ls scoop and our table name was employees history. All right, so as you can see, this time we have the table name changed from employees to employees history, and it has four files created one from each mapper. So try this out in your terminal and if you have any questions let me know. Thank you for watching.